and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Leadership and Politics with Dr. Abraham. We have Miss Lauren Ackerman. We meet again. How is everything happening at uh, your end? Everything is going well. We're uh, moved way past all the pandemic issues at this point in time, and uh, business is strong. Business is looking good. Um, we're up, you know, as I mentioned, forty uh, percent month over month this year cool. so far, which is amazing. And uh, we haven't run into major issues, except the only issue we've run into a little bit uh, is staffing. Um, need more staff. Still having a struggle to find the right people. That's a sign and of growth. That's a sign of growth. Yeah. And also yeah. a little bit of supply chain issues with finding glass and paper for labels and things like that. Certainly. So. And that's because of the what's happening on the ports and stuff, or is it? Yes, why? yes, and you know, just things not getting to where they need to be, and of course, a lot of demand. You know, in the um, since I'm in the wine industry, getting demand for glass and you know, printing of labels and corks and barrels and things like that can be uh, interesting, shall we say? <laughs> right Inter now. Yes, and limiting as well sometimes. And the good thing about what you've done is you expanded the brand. For those who haven't seen you last time and know what you do, tell me a little bit about your franchise. What is it that you do? So I run um, a small boutique winery called Ackerman Family Vineyards here in Napa Valley, California. We're located in the Coombsville uh, sub-appellation. And you know, Napa, it's made up of 16 sub appellations, all distinctly different types of soils producing distinctly interesting kinds of wines. So, my area, Coombsville, is the newest of those sub appellations. And I've been making wine uh, since purchasing the property in 1994 and actively selling it since 2003. And so, we've grown quite a bit in that time. And I also um, I live on the vineyard. It's, um, we're small, you know, just under 16 acres, um, primarily planted in Cabernet, Cabernet Sauvignon and other uh, French Bordeaux varietals. And I have a tasting room and it's actually a tasting house, if you want to call it that. It's a 1888 Victorian mansion that I purchased in 2010 and took five years to restore. And there, called the Ackerman Heritage House in downtown Napa, only 10 minutes from the vineyard, we do high-end dinners, special events, winemaker uh, things, Victorian teas and weddings and corporate meetings and things like that. What distinguishes your brand and what you do than others? Because you know, when we talk Napa, we talk the wine country. What distinguishes your own brand than others? I think, you know, um, primarily it's the a couple of things. It's the wine. The wine has to be good and, you know, not tooting my own horn, but the wine's good <laughs> because we make sure we work really hard at that. And I've been working on that for a long time, you know, now. So every year we work to improve every year we, you know, get people to help us. And we have a wonderful newer winemaker for us. Who's incredible and really hate taking his places. And I think the other part of it, quite honestly, is um, hospitality. It's mm -hmm. really about um, people. showing people, having, mm -hmm. and making sure that they're here when they're here, they're having a great time. They're on vacation typically. They want to enjoy. They want to be heard. They want to be recognized and they want to have an experience that they can go home and tell others about. So we're very good at creating that kind of experience. We're very good at making few people feel welcome and happy and you know, satisfied with their experience. And, and that's, I think, half the battle right there. Now, we talked last time and I get to know you and, and I know how you love people and you love to serve people. And I take it you have an excellent team because of your guidance and being on the helm of that organization that you have. Now, you, of course, you project an image of confidence and an image of success, and you bring that confidence to your people, the people that you work with. Absolutely, yes. And you make the difference, you being the leader in that organization. Of course, you have the brand, and it's associated to your name, true. But you, your persona, and who you are as an individual also play plays a part of how to make that brand to a higher end as well. But Thank you. And yes, and we work very hard at that. And I have a, you know, small but growing team. And I always tell them that just because my name is on the, the label, well, they all have the same vote as I do. 
Yes. Because they, you hire good people, you hire people that have greater knowledge than you do in particular aspects of the business. And I make sure that those people and all people within my small team are heard and they have as much say about something. And if I put an idea out and they don't like the idea, they get to say that. It's not the boss saying you have to take it my way or the highway. It's the boss basically saying, hey, I'm one of 10 of us here and everybody has a voice on you know, whatever it is that we're discussing and that's, an opinion. That's your leadership style, collaboration. Yes. Yes. You you seek their feedback and you appreciate it, you respect it. Very much so. And mm -hmm. and I and I have loyalty like unbelievable with my team as a result too. I mean, the I think the person who's been there the least uh you know, length of time has been there four and a half years mm -hmm. and everyone else has been there a lot longer. And we are very tight knit and very um have each other's back and when we add new people we look for those kind of personalities that could fit right in um, and have that expertise where we need it to add to that value collaboration based on research it does create trust and loyalty that comes with it as well so it's really a proof that this model of collaboration does work yes yeah yeah it's amazing Very much so. yeah amazing what else uh, do you like us to know about what you do Okay, sure. Well, you know, we're, as I mentioned, we're a small growing brand. It's been a, an interesting road and ride for me personally to bring it to this point. And we're now at a point where we're growing and expanding. Um, we're setting up distribution across the country. We are looking to hire a couple uh, new folks to be in national sales, uh, um, adding distributors, and we're going to be looking for capital. And that's exciting. That's something that I was hoping to, to uh, see happen at some point. Uh, it's been self-funded to this point. And now we're at that level that we're able to say, okay, we're growing so well that we need to expand and have that capital to grow capital, if you will. Are you seeking to be a franchise or just an investment group? Tell no, me what are no. You doing? Yeah, we can um, exactly grow based on... Uh, having capital to help move into new markets, to expand our product line, to uh, you know, have the ability to be out in people's eyes in terms of digital marketing or other kinds of um, social media marketing and such that we can create and do more of and hosting more events. And so those are the kinds of things. And you know, down the road, potentially adding more vineyard because you know, we have a finite supply of grapes at times, so we need to expand that. And, you know, there's a few other things that will be part of this, but it's exciting times, lots of big um, change ahead. And even though, yes, we might be faced with a recession or inflation, it's interesting, people are still very much interested in wine. And uh, I think it's a market, even though it's a luxury good, we're seeing that people are still excited and, and responding to, you know, drinking, enjoying, and and savoring wine with their food, the cuisine with their friends. Especially if you make it quality as your brand is and, and the attention to details and this personal commitment that you have from you as a leader of this fine organization. So I'm calling it to action. If somebody wants to invest, you hear this podcast or show, contact Lauren. Can people find you? What's your website? The website is uh, www.ackerman, A-C-K-E-R-M-A-N, family vineyards with an s dot com excellent and excellent. uh you can certainly also email me at lauren l-a-u-r-e-n at ackerman family vineyards dot com that's wonderful anything else we should we not cover anything else i think that's a good start for now we're <laughs> we're staying busy lots of events it's been a very busy summer we're you know we're happy about that and um you know, more ahead and um, travel coming up and lots of things in the works. So very excited about it. I'm happy for you. Thanks. Happy for you. Happy to see you again. And we'll see you in October, I hope. So yes, come on. Thank you so very much for coming. Thank you so much for having me. Mm -hmm.